today on Be Something Wonderful, how to have absolute faith and conviction in your desired end. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back to the Be Something Wonderful studios of higher consciousness here in Las Vegas. We have a big video for you today. I want to remind you on March 30th, 2024, later this month, the last Saturday of this month at 9 a.m. in the morning Pacific Coast Standard Time, we're going to have our third live question and answer event with me broadcast right here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful. I'm going to be answering your questions that you've been sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com. So continue to send your questions and topics that you would like me to touch on during the live stream. I'll also answer questions during the live chat. This is all happening later this month, the last Saturday of this month, March 30th, 2024 at 9 a.m. in the morning, Pacific Coast Standard Time, our third live question and answer event of 2024 to be broadcast on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. So if you're a member, join us. If you're not a member, check out the link below. I wanna talk about, this question comes up quite a bit uh, on the channel and during sessions. Tom, I'm losing faith. How do I get the conviction of already being and having what I want? And I've touched this idea of conviction and faith in many different ways. So we're gonna hit it again and, and level up together on what we're talking about here. Remember that faith and conviction is absolute. It's the absolute awareness of being of I am. You couldn't have more conviction or more faith than you have right now. You couldn't be more or less than all that you are right now. That's what we're talking about. Remember that I am awareness is absolute faith and love and conviction of being. But that love, that oneness, that unity that you are, that one reality, that one God, all that is, works according to and through law. The law of assumption, the law of being. In other words, it works according to who and what you're conscious of being. So it's not a question of lack of faith or losing faith or getting conviction or having more faith and con conviction. It's a... It's a question of you losing focus, not faith. Focus on what? Focus on your desired end. Focus on who and what you're conscious of being. We're gonna talk about all of these ideas today and more. I am awareness is absolute and complete faith and conviction of being. It's all that is. It's, what, it's that one, one unity, that one love of God, the Father, source, unconditional love and unity. Faith and conviction is your identification with and as that I am awareness. Do you hear it? You're never not that complete faith and conviction. You're never lacking it or losing it, but you can create the experience of not having conviction. You can create the experience of losing faith, but you're never without it, right? It's a question of what, who and what are you identifying as and with? Right? That's the question. Is it with the love and unity of all you are? Sometimes we focus so intently on the law, on the processes, on the techniques, that we forget the love. And it's that focus on the law without the love, without that absolute faith and conviction of being, that creates that experience of not being aware of who we desire to be that experience that I am not that person that I desire to be, that experience of losing faith and losing con or trying to get conviction or not having enough conviction. So we're going to cover these ideas today and more. Faith and conviction can't be lost or increased. I am that I am. God, told, God gave us the answer to that. I am all that who I say I am, who I assume I am. You can't lose it, increase. You can't add to God or take away from God or who you are. Remember what the ancients said, it's the substance and evidence, right? It's the substance of who you are as awareness. It's the evidence of that unseen reality. That's who you are. It is the, so faith and conviction is that the very substance of who you are, the very substance of that awareness of love. So that's why Jesus, your I am awareness of being, doesn't answer when his disciples say, 
increase our faith. They cry out, increase our faith. Jesus doesn't answer them directly because you can't possibly increase your faith. You're already all faith as that I am awareness. You're already the substance. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of the things unseen. It's the very substance of who you are. How did, Jans, how, did, how did Jesus answer? Jesus said, if you had faith like a mustard seed, you, you would uproot mulberry trees and move mountains. In other words, you would shift to the reality or the awareness of already being that person you desire to be. Because you're already complete. You're already that person. You're already all identities. It's unshakable conviction. It's absolute faith of a mustard seed. A mustard seed is conscious and aware of being a mustard seed and nothing but a mustard seed. and knows, according to law, that it will grow into a mustard plant or a mustard tree. Do you see it? So it's that love working according to law, but we focus so much on the law that we forget the love, we forget the absolute faith and conviction that we already are all things we desire to be. It's not a small amount of faith. That was never the message. It's absolute faith. It's unshakable faith or conviction, right? That's why Neville Goddard says conviction can't be shaken. This is absolute, right? I am aware of who and what I'm aware and conscious of being. I am who and what I'm aware and conscious of being. That's the faith, right? That's working according to law. I am all that is. I am that love. I'm absolute faith as I am this. Experiencing and contemplating myself as the one love, right? That one love, that one unity, being aware and conscious of being something else, specifically within that oneness of all that I am, focusing in on a part of that oneness, that unity, to, to see it from a different perspective, a different viewpoint, a different vantage point, to know myself as all that is. It's love plus law, as Ernest Holmes would say, right? God is love and God is law. But that love works according to law through you and as you, as that love, according to law. But we get so wrapped up in the law part, the law of assumption, the techniques, trying to make something happen, that we forget that we're already that, we're that love, that that conviction and faith is already there. So, so the law, just, you, you move your awareness and focus on what you want to be. And that must be your experience of reality. Right? But what do we do? We move it, we focus on the fear of, of, of what we believe we're not yet. And we create that experience. We create that idea of losing faith, of, of trying to get conviction. Remember, God, all that is, I am awareness, is love. It's source and law and aware, awareness of and as that one infinite being. So it's love and law. Right? You can't, if you focus only on the law, that I've done all the things that I'm supposed to do, I've affirmed, I've assumed it, I've imagined it, where is it? How come I'm not seeing it? Then, you're, then you forgot that you're the love, you're the conviction, you're the faith of already being it. You experience that one reality of love, that absolute conviction of being or faith as I am awareness, according to who and what you're conscious of being. In other words, according to law. Right? You're the operant power of that love, of that awareness, of that I am awareness, of that absolute faith and conviction that you are. It works according to law, according to who and what you're conscious of being. According to your faith, let it be to you, as Jesus said, right? Matthew 9, 29, when he would do his healings. Right? It's according to as you have believed, as you have, as you have been aware of, as you have focused your awareness, let it be to you. It doesn't mean that you lack faith or you lack awareness. That's, you can only create the experience of lacking faith and lacking awareness. But you, who you really are is absolute love, is absolute faith. You get this, guys, that the whole experience of, of losing faith or lack of faith is an experience that you create as you focus on the fear of what you want versus the love of what you want. Right? That you focus on the lack of what you want versus the love of what you want. Remember that according, love in the law or love in the Lord, as they say in the Old Testament, they refer to the, the law, the Lord means the law, a one. I am God and there is no other. I am the Lord besides me, there's no other. It's one. 
then love and the law work together. When you focus only on the law, the law of assumption, the processes, the techniques, and not on the love, the oneness, the unity of already being all that is or all that you desire to be, you create the experience of losing faith and lacking conviction. You can only create that experience when you focus only on the law and you forget yourself as that love. Of, you forget already being that person you desire to be. They work together. That's powerful. Like the older son in the prodigal, in the story of the prodigal son, the two sons, the older son, you question your faith, right? You question I am, like he was questioning the father. Remember, the father represents source or your I am awareness of who you really are. I've followed the law, the older son says to the father, but I'm still not aware, I've followed the law, but I'm still not aware of being that which I desire to be. He didn't say, I'm gonna go to his exact quote in scripture, but this is the point of this. this. You're like the prodigal son, right? Saying, questioning I am, questioning your father, saying, I've followed the law, but I'm still not aware of being that which I desire to be. You have absolute faith and conviction and I am not yet who and what I desire to be. Do you see, you never lack absolute faith and conviction. That's your substance. That's the evidence of who you are. That's the evidence of the unseen. That's everything. But, but what do you have absolute faith and conviction in? That I'm not yet who and what I desire to be. And therefore, that's the reality or the experience of reality that you create, right? So in the prodigal son, in Luke 15, 29, this is what the older son says to the father, to that I am, to source, to all that is. Look, for so many years I have been serving you. In other words, following the law, the letter of the law, and I've never neglected a command of yours, listening to the Lord or the law. Yet, you have never given me, you've never given me, they talked about the, the, the fattened calf and the, the ring and the robe and the party that they throw for the other son who returns. But, but in other words, you've never given me what I wanted. I've never manifested what I wanted and I've focused on the techniques in the law. But what are you forgetting? You're forgetting that the love, the absolute faith and conviction that you already are all realities, that you already are that person you desire to be. It's already been given you, right? God cannot give you what you don't give yourself. You haven't given it to yourself. You haven't been aware of that yourself. In other words, God can't give you what and who. You're not already conscious of being. You have absolute faith. You have absolute conviction, but you can create the experience of not having those things right? It's all yours already. I am absolute faith and conviction of being and having all things. But the law doesn't give you what you love unless you are aware of already being that love. Do you see it? So you're following the law, you're following every command, but you're forgetting that, that it's already yours, that you're already that love. You want it, you're trying to make it happen, but unless you're aware of already being that love, then you're focused on the fear or the lack of not having it. That's powerful. Well, let's show this a little bit more. And this is what the father says in response to the son in the prodigal. I've covered this story many times in many different ways, but today it's even a, another unique perspective. Son, you have always been with me and all that, my, all that is mine is yours. In other words, that love, I've loved you unconditionally. The love that you are has always been there. You've always had absolute faith and conviction. Everything's already been yours. But you've been focused on following the commands, focused on the techniques and the processes and forgot the love that it's already yours, that unconditional love, that unity, forgetting that you're already one. Remember, what is the love of God? It's the unity. It's the oneness of reality. It's the absolute faith and conviction of source. It's I am that I am and there's nothing else besides me. That's what that faith and conviction is. That's what the awareness is. That's what the substance is. That's what the substance of the unseen is. You've been with me. Everything has been yours. But you've been so focused on the law and forgot that love, forgot the unity, forgot the oneness. So you're not one. You're not connecting with the love of what you want. You're connecting with the lack of it. You're not one with it, right? Your experience of that allness and of being all that is 
comes through the operation of the law, but not from the law. It doesn't come from it. It comes from love. It comes from that source that you are. God, son, you've always been with me and all that is mine is yours. That's where it comes from, source. The father saying that to the son. It doesn't come from demanding it. It doesn't come from, from demanding that the law give it to you. It works through the law. It doesn't come from the law. The processes and techniques don't create anything. But that reality comes through those processes and techniques as you put your awareness on that you're already that person you desire to be. This is big today. Your experience of reality comes from source, as the source in reality, as that one love. When you imagine, assume, and affirm as source of, of already being who you desire to be and what you want to have, you're connecting with what you love in unifying the love and the law versus focusing on what you lack and trying to make the law work. Wow. Hear this again. <laughs> Your experience comes from, comes from source, as source of reality, right? As that allness, as that unconditional love, right? But when you, so when you imagine, assume, and affirm as source of who you desire to be and what you desire to have, you're connecting with what you love and unifying the love in the law because it works through law versus focusing on what you lack or what you fear and then trying to make the law work. Whew. Powerful today, guys. Very powerful. So you have the experience of losing faith and conviction when you focus on the law through fear and lack versus faith and love through fear of I am not yet that person I desire to be versus the faith of I am that person I desire to be already. And I am, is a, there's only existence. I am not does not exist. So it's not reality. I am's reality. Absolute complete faith, in other words, is reality. Not I am not, not the fear or lack, not the experience of lack of faith, not the experience of lack of conviction. That doesn't, that's not existence, that's impossible. Non-existence doesn't exist by definition. <laughs> so there's only existence, I am, there's only absolute faith. When you, when you connect with, when you are aware of, when you put your focus on the love of what you want, you experience an immediate alignment of your heart and mind. And that experience becomes your only reality, both within and without. That's the heart and mind. In other words, you unify the law, the love in the law, right? The absolute faith of who you are in the law. The only question ever is, are you connecting or aligning with love and faith of I am, of what you want and desire, or the fear and lack of I am not it already? Or are you connecting with the fear and lack of it? Both create and manifest an experience of reality. Both will, you will get alignment with heart and mind with both of those. But is it coming through the fear of what you, uh, of what you want versus the love of what you want? Because they both create experiences of reality. You get to determine that. But the true reality, the true experience is absolute fulfillment. That never changes. Absolute faith, absolute conviction. You can only create the experience of losing faith, of losing conviction, of feeling lack, of I am not. You can create that experience, but that's not reality, right? That's how to have absolute faith and conviction in your desired reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at be something wonderful and our membership channel for additional content. There's another uh, video coming out in a day or two. And also we have our, our third live stream at the end of this month, March 30th on Saturday morning, as I described in earlier in the video. Join us if you want to check out the membership channel. There's a link below. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.